This is a short story written by my fiance Allison and read by me. He tripped a little as he descended the stairs. Scott? Nick called out to his best friend and recent lover. It's okay, babe. I'll light the candles in a second. Just sit on the couch against the wall. Nick pointlessly nodded and stumbled over to the pleather, scratched piece of furniture and sat down on the edge. This was his first time, and he was understandably a bit nervous. Scott began lighting the red wax candles. The basement was still dank and drafty. The illumination from the wicks seemed to not lift the heavy fog of darkness. Are you ready? His voice provided such comfort to a young man who had not dabbled in this sort of thing. Yes, he answered back with more confidence, now kneeling next to Scott on the floorboards. The flame reflecting in his partner's eyes was almost too intense for Nick to handle. The passion. Nick finally lowered his eyes onto what would bring tonight's festivities. The white chalk on the floor was sketched in a way to represent a pentagram, but the blood from the sacrifice had long since set into the wood and skewed the once perfectly straight lines of their summoning element. The head of the beast was lined up proportionately with the star's edges. Nick wondered fleetingly what happened to the body of the animal, but decided not to question it. Scott took a deep breath, but did not turn his head to fully address his companion. It's time. Nick began to nod, but quickly realized Scott would not tear his eyes away from their sacrifice. As Scott began to chant in a language unknown to man, dust stirred in the wind that seemed to appear from no source. An uneasy feeling set in Nick's stomach, but he would never let it show. The flames flickered, casting an eerie glow on the objects in the room. Shadows stretched across their faces. Were the candles going to blow out in all of this wind? Nick spared a quick glance at Scott. His once normal soulmate now had his head tilted back and eyes rolled up towards the ceiling as a guttural sound made its way out of his mouth. What? What's happening? Asked a very frightened Nick. Drenched in sweat and shaking slightly, he determined Scott was being possessed by some spirit or supernatural being. I am an egg. Scott began to whisper in a two-tone voice, increasing with volume each time the words flew out of his mouth. What? Nick was perplexed. I am an egg! Scott shouted. Slinking back, Nick could only quip out a measly. I don't understand. I am an egg! A.K.A. Nick Nuts! A.K.A. Infinite Sad! A.K.A. Dan! The End well, I hope you guys enjoyed this quote-unquote story. I'll see you later.